Blue sky, thought Zolf while the stars were beautifully shining. They were the silent witnesses of the event which they saw just a few hours ago. Zolf didn't sleep well recently, if he could call a repetitive awakening in screams sleeping. He took a deep breath and got up. Behind him were the hanging gardens, the meeting place. You could see the misery in his brown eyes and even bigger despair over what he has lost. He looked up to the stars as if he was searching for redemption. The wonderful blue stars, just like her eyes. Suddenly, Zolf had heard acute laughter. It gave birth to his new hope, but as he turned around, he had found out it was nothing at all. Maybe it was the wind, or is he starting to go insane? Once again, he lifted his eyes towards the stars, at least they stood in their place. Zolf stayed there for a few hours. Was he waiting for his end? Or maybe for his salvation? He was indifferent to whether he would perish or leave. He only wanted to look into her eyes again and hold her. Hold his whole world. He felt the beating of her heart right by his, but in the end nothing will be able to give him the warmth inside his heart as it's shattered. My dearest, he said. Your eyes were the color of those stars. He suddenly clenched his hands and declared that someone will pay for this. But it didn't matter now. He closed his eyes and he drove away into a world in which he felt that he was safe. What was my past? Zolf tried to remember beside the floating dust, and with his empty vision, he saw people who now were only stone. Poverty and hunger were the only words that he thinks of whenever he remembers his childhood. He barely remembered his parents. The plug took them away from him. Suddenly, on his face appeared a slight smile. The missionary took me to his home and raised me like his own son. He taught me how to live. I have set myself a goal. Zulf felt a light grasp on his arm and had heard a voice full of compassion. We have to go. Please.